Trump's tariffs continuing to worry investors in the U.S. Uh, let's take a look at where the Dow is right now. It is up just slightly. It's trading pretty flat right now at 25,562, the level there, with Chevron and ExxonMobil lending the, leading the way as oil dips into bear market territory. The Nasdaq is down just slightly there, and the S&P uh, also trading pretty flat. Here to weigh in on the market action, Payne Capital Management Senior Wealth Advisor, Courtney Dominguez. Courtney, it's great to have you on today. Thanks for having me. So let me just uh, throw the question to you. I mean, it seems like the markets have sort of seesawed here. We were talking yesterday about mm -hmm. this overreaction in some mm -hmm. ways from the Fed comments that came in earlier this week. Yeah. Uh, today, it's trading pretty flat. What's leading the direction right now? Yeah, I think... There was a big overreaction last week because we're seeing even more tariffs that are coming. We were finally starting to digest the tariffs on China, and then Mexico got thrown into the picture. So the markets really didn't love additional tariffs going in and figure out how we're going to react to that. But Is this kind of investors staying on the sidelines right now, not knowing whether the tariffs will kick in on June 10th? Exactly. But I think what we're seeing is what hasn't changed is the underlying data on the economy is continuing to be strong. If anything, it's strengthened despite the fact that all these tariffs are in place. So at the end of the day, investors really have to look and you're seeing, well, GDP is strong. Unemployment's looking good. The consumer is really strong right now. And that's what's going to be driving the economy. And at a certain point in time, you need to be looking forward. And that's really even more reason what's going to take the markets even higher. That's why it's surprising to me that so many people have suddenly decided that we're going to get a rate cut uh, just mm -hmm. based on a, a few choice words from yeah. Powell, because it, it seems to me that things aren't really bad enough or shaky enough for, to justify a rate cut. I mean, as you say, the, the consumer confidence numbers, a lot of indicators that you can point to. I mean, I would think the most likely thing is that no change in the rest of the year. I'd have to agree with that, but I think just knowing that they're even open to a rate cut, that's just giving a lot more optimism to the consumer right now. So... Oh, sorry, and talking about investors, so we're looking at the different stocks. I mean, given the tariffs with Mexico, I mean, should you steer clear from a GM or a Ford? What do you recommend? I would much more be in a broad-based investment strategy right now because you're seeing these new tariffs come up. Mexico is a good example. We were so focused on China and how these tariffs are going to affect the Chinese. We have no idea Mexico is going to come on board, and that's affecting the entire auto industry, which no one saw coming. And this is really more of a reason why you need to be so properly diversified as an investor, because these things are going to get thrown at you in short term. Some things are going to be invested or um, affected completely out of the blue, and we can't always forecast that. So you really need to make sure that you have a lot of different investments you can pick and choose from at a different point in time. You talked about the growth um, story still being strong, but couldn't you argue that there are some red flags that are popping up? I mean, if you look at uh, private payroll numbers yesterday, I mean, that's just a very small data set. We're yeah. looking to what's coming out on Friday, but we got that warning from the IMF coming out uh, yesterday talking about global growth trimming by half a percent. We've certainly seen a lot of notes coming out saying if these tariffs go through, this is really going to start to uh, hit the economy. So is that, you think, maybe uh, feeding into some of the investor shakiness, if you will, the jitters? Possibly. I mean, that's really where, where the Fed is saying they're going to potentially decrease interest rates here is because if the tariffs do come into effect, it's actually going to be a deflationary item because initially things are going to cost more. What's going to happen is people are going to close their wallets and not be spending. Mm. But at the end of the day, I, I don't know if I totally agree with that. I think that's the logic behind things that is adding to some nervousness here. The economy is still in a really strong place right now, and I really don't think we should discount that by any means. Yeah, I think we just keep waiting for consumers to be more scared and concerned about the trade war, and it hasn't happened. Exactly. And we have heard for so long, soon it's going to hit the average person's wallet. Soon it's going to hit the average person's wallet, and it hasn't happened yet. But with the Mexico tariffs, that's when it really maybe finally might, or maybe not. And a big reason why it hasn't hit consumers' wallets is because a lot of these companies have been really smart and switching suppliers to other countries in Asia, like Vietnam yeah, or South Korea easy. or Taiwan. So exactly. that's why consumers, for, some, for now, the prices aren't that high. Exactly. And a lot of this data, too, there's a lot of talk of, okay, maybe we're of a slowing economy, and that was making people nervous also. Mm -hmm. But slower GDP growth is not the same as going into recession. And that's what a lot of us need to realize also. So if you have the GDP growing anywhere from 2 to 4%, and we're still projected to be in that range, the S&P 500 historically has gone up anywhere from 9 to 11% in those time frames. And so I don't see why it's anything we need to be afraid of. Maybe we're not growing at 3%. Maybe it's closer to 2.5%. But that still can be a really strong economy in that factor. Okay. We'll have to leave it there. Appreciate your insight today. Thanks Thank for having you. me. Thanks, Courtney.